Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to learn about how to add log4j property file in Java project. See basically log4j means it is a simple and it is a Java based language framework, login framework. Here simple, flexible and reliable and faster we can able to get it for resolution. How means see now you can on the previous video I explained like we can able to get screenshot taking for particular location filling time and errors we can able to see right but we don't know exactly why it is failing whether the element issue what kind of thing if you are using these logs we can able to know that which class where it is and which line it is failing like that we can able to get it for that blocks with the simple way and we can able to flexible also we can anybody can uh, take it and faster it will show that message and we can able to configure using the configuration file and we can able to two ways one is log4j.xml or log4j.properties how we can able to add our log4j properties into java project we, if you are using a Moven project, we can able to go ahead for this location and we can able to add it for Moven related things. Okay, I just am going here and hitting here and you can able to come here a uh, Moven or Gradle which one you want to use that uh, pom.xml you have to paste it these two dependencies then it will add it to your project and just once we created then we need to create for lo uh, loggers reference then we can able to see the one statement printing okay now i'm going to uh, my project and here i already added for that two loggers okay and just i already added for that uh, logger statement configuration and see this is naming convention you have to import these two packages only org apache.login.log4j.logmanager and logger this is related to our uh, particular dependencies okay and here it is basically it will take for class reference class name okay and this is our simple uh, example and just if you am running here you can able to see that console place the all of them it will print like there are two values it will print one is error and failed uh, remaining it will, is not printing uh, error is nothing but you can able to immediately in case if it is the error is occur then uh, it will uh, showcase that object value into a console immediately and failed also same way once anything information is comes then it will print into the console itself warning and information debug are like uh, that information we are storing into the file where we want to use it okay i already copy pasted on simple uh, log4j1 property file one and see this is my property file okay sorry that is the xml see this is simple file okay uh, don't worry about because uh, if you are searching the google uh, log4j dot properties examples you can you will get so many options and that i find a very simple uh, property file this is the one okay here is basically that property file name means if it is their location if there are any logs are presented then it will gives here if it is already presented then it will not create if not present then it will create the file where we are going to opening console and file console means that is a console application which is the one we are seeing right here file means the file storage okay and console one there is a format of that year month the date and timestamp with which main are any place and class name and message what message you want to print okay 
and also here you can able to see the file also the same way it is going to store into a file and the logging information we are storing here this is the one like package and if you are using the same pattern then you have to change into your package name to here okay once you added everything just go again into here and just you can run your program one more time then you can able to see after completion of the execution um, you can able to uh, now i'm going to refresh here and logs are presented then you have to enter here you can see these are the files information with the class name and message and date format and main and which is the one we are using for logs debug information one error field right these all the things it will display into the your file location we can able to easily to understand where exactly it is fail and we can go ahead and we can able to find it correct this is a simple example for property files and we'll see for later video in xml file also i hope you like this video if you like this video please like my video please subscribe my youtube channel thank you